Why do we say Earth is just a tiny speck of dust in the universe? Even our own Milky Way galaxy is just like one brick in a giant cosmic web. Take the Laniakea supercluster, for example. In this cosmic web that looks a bit like corn silk, our Milky Way galaxy is just about where that red dot is on the edge. If we zoom in to take a closer look, you can see that this area is practically a cosmic web made of galaxies. This is a map scientists created of the galaxies around the Milky Way, based on lots of observations. It's a model of the Laniakea supercluster, and Earth is just somewhere inside it. It's so tiny, it's hard to even compare them. That's because the Laniakea supercluster is one of the biggest things we know of in the universe. It's our cosmic home too, it contains about 100,000 galaxies. Think of it like a city wall in space, built with galaxies as bricks. It's about 520 million light years across, and it weighs 100,000 times more than the Milky Way. It includes well-known groups like the Virgo supercluster, and hundreds of other galaxy clusters and groups, all making up this even bigger structure in space. Within it, about 100 to 200 million light years away in the center, there's something called the Great Attractor. It's like a huge gravitational center with the mass of tens of thousands of galaxies. Here, all galaxies, including our Milky Way, are pretty much moving towards it. Just like Earth goes around the Sun, and the Sun orbits the center of the Milky Way around its central black hole. But the distances between galaxies are vast. For example, the Andromeda Galaxy is about 2.54 million light years away from the Milky Way. That's a long, long way. And around this cosmic web, there are also mostly empty spaces called voids. So the universe is even emptier, at least to us, than we can even imagine. Zooming out even further, even something as huge as the Laniakea supercluster. This giant thing, compared to the observable universe, which is 93 billion light years across, it's still just a tiny part. And for humans today, even just getting out of our solar system, which is only about one light year wide, is incredibly difficult. Let alone traveling beyond the Laniakea supercluster. So humans are really, really tiny compared to the universe. If that's the case, does it even make sense to explore the far reaches of space? Well, actually, yes, it does. Because for intelligent life, there always has to be a heart that's curious about the unknown.